Yeah, I think I found a place, but I'm not going to tell you about it just yet. This is chicken. No. I can't fast. <laughs> I know you're going to think. Uh, no, it's true because, like I explained yesterday, I have to take medications that, like, I need to drink water. I tried fasting and I just, like, felt so dizzy because, like, I couldn't drink water. And I'm like, how am I going to take my medications? Like, I can't do it, you know? But I didn't want to talk about my fasting because people judge me, you know? But so I just kind of avoided it. Like, I didn't want to rub it in, but, like, you're going to see me eating, so I have to tell you. Just leave me alone right now. No, I'm not getting the mansion. You know how much that costs? That, the fact that I didn't get that house was... Is there a cop here? There's, like, an official... Okay. With divine intervention... No, wallet. It's not that it's, it's not the difficulty it's that I have medical issues like I do. And if you can't fast, then like if you have medical issues and you can't fast, then you're excused on it. Yeah, I bought some new clothes, <laughs> but they're kind of big. I bought a size up, just in case. <laughs> Is it my <laughs> my head's peeking up? <laughs> Natalie, I have to practice the way I practice and not have to answer to anybody. That's it. That's all. I look happier. I'm just tired right now. It usually takes like a few days for my body to readjust. Like after sitting on a flight for like 14 hours, even just like after like five, six hours, my legs start to like my, I don't know. It's like I had compression socks on, but my legs feel so stiff and swollen after for about three days. I'm parked in the same spot as yesterday. Yeah, for now I have no choice. Yeah, I'll go for a walk. Mm, I'll pass. Brooke, if you can take a wild guess, I'll be so proud of you. Why do you think? I have to be careful in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I landed in, on April 1st, Italian. What? People have taken pictures of me. How can you say that? It's literally not in my head. I'm not usually paranoid. But. Jeez. I'm not going to say like Ottawa or Cornwall just now. Or maybe somewhere else. Strumming Sam. Well, if it's where I want to go. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Sorry. Oh my gosh. Give me a minute, okay? I'm having a wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> I don't want to walk around with my hijab insecure. Yeah, not secured. Some people have asked me about my health journey. Basically, when it goes well, you'll probably know about it. If it's not so well, you'll know about it. I think I have to unblock a lot of people, don't I? I'm not going to put a wig over the hijab. I wouldn't get Sam if I wasn't staying. Oh, yeah. Yesterday, I left on a very dumb note. And I just got homesick. Because whenever you get accustomed to something, leaving is hard no matter what it is. Even when I was in Katimovic and I had to leave after only, like, was it seven and a half, seven and a half months or something? Excuse me. I was traumatized. I was like, I don't want to leave you guys. And now, like, a year and a half, like, my pets. It's like my heart's broken. If I'm here, my heart's broken if I'm over there sometimes because I miss some things here. So, no, I'm never leaving Sam. Reginald, you're doing the right thing, prioritizing. Well, that's the thing. Like, if I came back here, like, the thing is, is if I came back here, like, for my health, you know, I have to actually take care of that. <laughs> and it's just overwhelming right now, all, all the things I have to do to correct my life, you know. When all I really feel like doing is honestly bed rotting and watching movies like Motel Hell and eating junk food, which I know is not, that's not a way to live all the time. You can live like that sometimes. So that gives me hope. <laughs> my chubby chub. I think it would look so weird if I like didn't have hijab on. Like you wouldn't. My it would take time for you to adjust to the, like, getting used to how my face is fat and chubby. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gonna fall. A navy and white striped shirt, and it's not super long. But the pants I'm wearing are high rise, so they like, go up to here, and they have pockets in the black. And this is my new hijab, <laughs> blue. Yeah, I have a lot of navy blue. Whenever I um. Whenever it's nicer and I have my own place, we will, like, whenever I'm in my own place, we, I can do a lot more things, like, live streams, like, you know, so. No, I, <laughs> Lynn, I hate that song. I heard it only recently. The, this is Texas by Beyonce. I don't like it. it. Makes me feel uncomfortable. When the time is right, he'll come visit. Plus, this is, like, orange. <laughs> it has, like, orange dye on yeah, my teeth. I ha Like, for my teeth to look decent, I have to really brush them and then use, like, um, mouthwash. Challenge myself to keep it nice and clean. Yeah, you sound like my mother. 
I'm like, like I said, you know, I say, okay, like it's so easy to just say, I'm going to come back home and work on my health and work on myself. So I have to actually like put into place a plan, no matter how overwhelming it is to try to organize myself, my life. For me, it's so hard. I just, I don't know. My brain like doesn't function well when it comes to those kinds of things. I left all my abayas there except for my jilbab. I took that with me. Hey, that's not playing. You can do it. Thanks, GH. Why did I change my name back? Because I, sorry, I changed my, my, my name. I changed my mind a lot on things and I feel like more like Foodie Beauty is more in my brand, you know? Like it has more of a past, but so what? Everyone has a past. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I wanted to address that because I keep seeing people say that. Basically, the profile picture, um, I took it, that picture when I was in Canada last time when I got that new sweater and I had my ring off at the time and I didn't think about it and you know it happens like I do that sometimes so I did the picture I sent it to Salah to show him the picture and he noticed right away he's like no ring you know and I was like oh yeah sorry babe so I went and got the ring put it on <laughs> no he wasn't I made him sound rude no he was just like there's no you forgot your ring babe kind of thing you know <laughs> but I'm doing that for dramatic effects anyway so then um I put the ring on and took another picture. So you can see that obviously they're slightly different. So I just forgot my ring in the first one. He reminded me of that and I went and put it back on. So then I changed my entire description because for, like for the foodie beauty, when I became foodie beauty again, because when I did everyday Miriam, I wanted to be like more about religion and you know, my, my journey as a revert. And then that just like became like overwhelming. It's like, I just felt like, you know, judged a lot, not judged a lot, but like, well that yes, but that wasn't like the main motivator. I guess I just kind of grew tired of it, if I'm honest. Like, it's not content that I really... It's like, I missed beezing. Like, I missed, like, the foodie beauty kind of content. So, I didn't put anything... And I didn't want it to have anything to do with my religion. Not very much, like, little mentions. But not, like, a focus, you know, as a revert. Like, I wanted to keep, like, my religious beliefs private because it's really just between me and Allah, you know? So, that's why I wanted to do that. I didn't, I didn't erase the religion because that's... I don't believe in anything anymore. Like I said, like, once I saw the signs and I believe in God, it's not something I can go back... I can go away from but sometimes people do stray from their religion like when i was catholic i whoa when i was catholic oh my god hold on speaking hold on. i never ever went to church okay like ever it's just not something i enjoyed i didn't do it but i didn't really feel religious at the time but the, if i have to work on my devoutness if i have to like do things you know i have to do them on my own time and you know so I don't even believe in government. Yeah, there's moments where that make you question your faith. Of course, half light. So, yeah, hello. There's moments in life, like if, you know, something devastating happens to you. And, you know, maybe for you guys, it was a joke. But for me, it wasn't, right? So I was, like, hurt by that. And I was, like, like, what? You know? You just question, like, really? Because, like, I don't know. I do sometimes just question it. It's normal. And it's, like, no one's business. You know what I mean? Yeah, they do. You do turn to God in your hardest moments too, half light. But sometimes you question the existence of God. A lot of people do that. It's totally normal. Like, <laughs> what's your point? I'm not free from Salah. And don't start bad mouthing him. Like, let's just not talk about him at all. Thank you. Yeah, I believe in God. But sometimes, like, if you go through, sometimes it, there's been times where I've gone through something so difficult. Like when my grandmother passed, I was like, you know, angry and stuff like that. You know, but in the end, yeah, of course. Nosferatu, I don't know. People are going to say that. But, like, I think people from this part of the world, like, a lot of people think that, you know, Middle Eastern men or Arab men, they have this, like, um, stereotype. There's a stereotype out there that they're controlling. That's why. That's why probably people think that. You know. Yes, I'm still married. <laughs> married! I am, yeah. If that ever changes, I mean, I would probably, I'd have to tell you guys. But, I don't, I don't know. I still talk to peace, yes. Yeah, I mean, it is difficult, like, being in a relationship if you're not well yourself. Because, exactly, you, like, in a marriage you take care of each other. But it's, you know, when you become more unhealthy than the other person, then they're, they're you know, it loses the balance. Like, you know, I need to have similar energy levels to him. Like, I, I believe that for the dynamic to be truly healthy, you know. Um. So, yeah, like, I want to, you can't, you also can't, like, unless you, like, really start loving yourself and taking care of yourself properly like you can't love somebody truth like how they truly like deserve to <laughs> i do look like amy ramadan today <laughs> yeah look at those like religious cults like i don't know 
<laughs> Why do we sleep like Charlie Bucket's grandparents? <laughs> we don't sleep that way. I never said we slept that way. I say we watch movies that way. Because, think of it this way. Very simple. You know what? There's very simple. You ever hear of Occam's Razor? There's very simple explanations for all of your theories. But you, in, instead, you choose to have this experience of making up all this crap, these crap theories that are so weird. They're very extravagant. They're very elaborate, okay? And, and very inventive. But, okay, we watch movies that way because, listen, Salah doesn't have a Kirsch Kabir. And in Arabic, a Kirsch Kabir is your big belly and I have a big belly. So he doesn't have a Kirsch Kabir. Okay? He lays like this on his back and watches the movie. There's no Kirsch in the way. F, Fis, X, O. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So then me, if I lay on my back like this, I have my chest and my, my belly in the way of whatever I'm watching, and it's not comfortable. I can't breathe like this. <laughs> so I lay that way, kind of like on my side like a seal, and I look up at the TV. It's on the wall just in front of us. And then Julia, she sleeps like right here by me, and I pet her. But at last night I got really sad, yeah, because I missed my, my pets, my husband, and like the life I was living. Because I was used to it. It was familiar and I'm scared now. Because I have to start from the bottom up now, you know. In a way. Again. Not like, not really the bottom. I mean, I mean, I just have to like buy all new shit for my freaking apartment. And uh, <laughs> stuff like that. Anyways. Can we go to your purse? Yeah, we'll have to go thrift shopping. Purse thrift shopping. <laughs> because. Um. Yeah, you can find, like, really nice things for cheap sometimes. I like winners, but sometimes it's expensive. Sometimes it's, like, it's like mid-range, you know? But we can go dumpster diving somewhere. <laughs> when are we going dumpster diving? When it's nicer out. To me, if somebody says something and they, don't, they say one thing and do another, it's because I usually change my mind on what I want to do. But it's not a lie because at the time that I proclaim that I want to do something... I have the full intention of honest intention of doing it. It's just that it's, there's some other kind of interfering hardship, whether it's my fault or it's not, it's in my control or it's not. Usually it is. Then that's irrelevant because it does. It's still not a lie. If the, the honest intention was to do what you were saying, where you were going to do, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, I, I like, sometimes I was thinking I want to go back to Kuwait. Yeah. I'm not going to lie like last night, but I worked through it because like logically just right now, this is the best thing for me, especially after I invested a lot of money, you know, in getting here, um, you know, and my car and just a lot of things like that would just all go to waste. Like, why would I get my car fixed right now if I wanted to go back? Like, it doesn't make sense. You know, I just like, I have all these plans already set in motion. So, but yeah, part of me want, wanted to run back to what was familiar because like after not being here for a year and a half, it doesn't feel that familiar here, you know? I don't know. It feels like things have changed, but they haven't really. It's a weird feeling. I don't know. You guys are mean. I'm not anyone's mummy, but who doesn't want someone to take care of them? You know? And usually men want that. So. Sam! I can't wait to squeeze him. Oh my gosh, I wonder what he's going to think of me. He'll get used to me again. He was close to me. So I'll never leave him again. And Julia, I'm not leaving her. I guess I'm going to take very good care of Sam. No, I'm not going to, like, I'm going to take him to get his nails cut, I think. Although he's a pretty good boy. BBJ wasn't because she would always freak out. Yes, I'm still married, <laughs> okay? But my relationship, I'm going to keep, like, completely offline. That's why I removed it also from, I removed that and religion off of my roster in the uh, about. That's what I was talking about. Because also, mainly, you know, I like, my channel, Foodie Beauty, I didn't want it to be about those things. I wanted it to just be what I put in the description, like, you know, Plus like shopping stuff, shopping stuff, like live stream beezing, just beezing. I just want to bees, like basically. So, yeah, you know, wasn't because like I broke up with him. I mean, I guess I can't blame people for wondering because like you don't live my life so you don't know. So all you, you have to rely on is like tea, you know. But no, yeah, I'm still married. If that changes, I'll let you know. I mean, you know. So, but yeah, I'm still married, you know. Yes, yeah, Sam is returning, and when I get my place, I have to let them know, and then I have to go get the big, fat, cute neckbeard bees there. That's how we feel about Kuwait. I guess a lot of you didn't like it, but I mean, what am I? I can't live my life 
not doing something. I love, like, I love exploring, you know? But why did you guys hate Kuwait? I, like, honestly, just boring. I didn't do enough stuff. I'm not marrying Pete's, even if I was single. I'm, I'll never remarry ever. Never. If anything ever happened. I don't want, no, uh, remarried. Gross. I don't. <laughs> no way. I could never be that way again. That has changed for sure. Like a real genuine. It's all genuine, but like I, that for sure, I'd like, you know, there's no way that part of it. <laughs> okay, I better go, guys. I gotta go find water. <laughs>